All right, welcome back to the Dr. Duck Show. Today, I have a fantastic interview for you. I interviewed Ian Clark from Activation Products. Now, this is an interview where we talk about supplementation. We talk about magnesium, K2, different forms, and his backstory is really interesting. So this is not a standard supplement conversation. This is a conversation I think you're going to want to hear because he talks about how these products saved his life, literally transformed his body from something that was falling apart to something that continues to age gracefully and actually reverse age as he gets older. So it's kind of a cool story. I'll let him tell you all about it. But these products are really, um, they're very unique and especially the magnesium conversation is very in depth. So I hope you enjoy this interview with Ian Clark from Activation Products. If you're trying to optimize your own supplement stack, you should definitely check this out. All right. So Ian, thank you so much for joining us on the Dr. Doug show. I'm super excited to talk about some of your products, specifically magnesium, uh, which is really where I want to start. But give us just a little bit of background uh, before we dig into magnesium on kind of how you got into this space. It's such a unique, uh, you know, a very niche space within the supplement world. So can you give us a little background? Yeah, so we ended up becoming a unicorn, uh, just a, a, say a reverse engineer from today. So I just turned 66 years old in June of this year. I'm healthier than I've ever been in my life. And 20 years ago, in 2004, I was, I was ready to die. My body was going to be basically expiring, had a huge tumor, heart disease, and liver problems. Uh, it took seven years to go through the natural realm. I, I had to get away from the medical community because they weren't serving what I needed. I'm not against them at all. I think they help people every day. But I just couldn't, they couldn't help me. And so I went on a journey, and thankfully, I had about 36 months to live. So that meant I could use that to get five years. Five years turned into 10 years. 10 years turned into 25 years. I have no idea how long the body can stay alive now. Because if, I, if you're healthier every day in every single category, a little bit more every single day going to the future, age no longer has anything to do with anything. Because that's, that's really the key performance indicator. So what happened is I met all these people along the way, and then it got clearer and clearer and more defined. And I found out what the most important must-have things are that the body absolutely requires to be fueled and also to be detoxified. Because we're breathing 11,000 liters of air a day, which has all the contaminants in it. That's our biggest consumption of fuel is air with all the necessary components and all the unnecessary components that build up. So I got into the whole detoxification gently and effectively and affordably, and then bringing the fuels in, bringing the elements in. And so that our company started organically 17 years ago. I didn't even know I was going to have a company. I was just trying to survive. And then when I found out that there were things that people had never heard of, and I'm like, is that possible that I'm hearing about this and they've never heard of it? And I'm a newbie, like a total newbie, you know, 20 years ago. And so I started telling people about certain things. One thing was marine phytoplankton. Another thing was, you know, ease magnesium. And it took off. And we did literally millions of dollars in sales in the first, like, four or five years. And it shocked me because we had no company set up. We had no sales team. We had no marketing. I was just telling people in California who were saying, well, this, this is really cool. Nobody's ever heard of this. Where did you get this? Can, can you get it? And I go, sure, I can get it. So we were just shipping from Canada, literally working to the basement of our house with our children. And we got major results coming back from these two items that we were letting people have. And we were paid all this money. And so what we did, I didn't take the money. I put the money into research and development to learn more. Once I had my health stabilized within the first seven years, and I had not, nothing life-threatening at all, I thought we could potentially... I didn't know at the time for sure, but what if potentially we could all get healthier a little bit more in every category every day of our lives going into the future? And what if it didn't hardly cost anything? What if it really wasn't that much money and time and energy and effort? And so that was the pursuit. And just slowly, I, couldn't, I didn't come up with any of this, by the way, Dr. Doug. This has all been given to me by people like yourself who I met along the way who have great knowledge of, of very specific things. And I started gathering these master keys. And then a company, a manufacturing company that we now own, and it started and we're completely certified front to back from every agency imaginable, uh, is now producing this 
so we totally control the quality. And that's where we came up with what we're going to talk about today. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Thank you for that background. I'd heard some of that story, but not all of it. Um, I feel like some of the best products, services come out of somebody's own uh, very personal misfortune, oftentimes, you know, the, a story that really drives the need for ingenuity and creating something that doesn't exist. So, so kudos to you for, for walking down that pathway. Um, so let's dig into the magnesium first, because we talk about supplements a lot in the bone health space and on this channel. Um, and there are, you know, if you Google osteoporosis supplements, you will get thousands and thousands mm -hmm. of hits and different products. And most of them are really re relating in some way to calcium. Uh, I think you would agree with me that osteoporosis is probably not a calcium deficiency for the vast majority of people that have bone health issues. And magnesium is sometimes included in these products, but usually not in very high quality forms. So let's dig into magnesium. So just kind of give us a sense, um, you know, magnesium was one of the first things you did. So why, why magnesium, you know, with all the different things you could have gone into, especially in the health span and longevity space, why was magnesium where you started? What's so important about magnesium? Well, the first uh, words that came to my ears was that magnesium in the right form is the, a master mineral and it is required by the body for fuel energetically and biochemically. So there's more than 330 measured biochemical reactions, for example. The word is that there's thousands of different things in the body that happen. They need, need magnesium. But the, the population in general is magnesium deficient. And some are, like 85% of the population is extremely magnesium deficient. And that's because there's not enough in the food. And taking a pill <clears throat> definitely helps if you have the right form of it. But it taxes the system because it's got to go through your digestive tract finally get through all your organs, your kidneys particularly, get into your bloodstream, and then eventually get to where it's going to go. And it doesn't hold structurally in the body. So I heard about a transdermal form of it. I was like, what does that even mean? Well, that means it's going to go into your skin. I went, okay, how does it get into the skin? Well, it has to be a certain form and structure. It goes into the hair follicles and the pores, and it is able to hold in the tissue because it's not going the digestive route. It's not just going through the blood trying to get where it goes. You can put it geographically, like for restless legs or muscle cramps or whatever, or bone health. You can put it right on your feet, the bottom of your feet, your, your foot, your ankles. Your, you do your whole entire body twice a day for 90 days when you first start. And that builds up your bank account of what's called magnesium chloride hexahydrate. And that's a very specific form that is extracted from seawater at a pharmaceutical grade level, which is called USP. It's a standard of purity and guaranteeing the form of that molecule. And we're like walking oceans. So this is very compatible. This is the type of magnesium that your body loves because it'll hold in the tissue and then you can pull in your reserves when you need it. And if you don't have a reserve of magnesium, and you have a high stress day or a high activity day or a high brain use day, you're going to be burning magnesium like crazy. Or if you're a woman going through your cycles, you're going to burn far more than men would, for example. But men burn magnesium, they need it as much, but not as acutely. And so we, when I found out how to make this stuff, and it was using a, a jet engine technology, which is the machinery that's actually used to produce the end product, we, there's only one company in the world that we had to buy from which produces this extremely valuable raw material. We bring it into our factory. We make our own medical grade water. We put it in there and, and, and it's basically implosion of the, of the elements into the water to make it hold the maximum amount we can get in there without fallout. Because a lot of times you put too much in, it'll come to the bottom of the, of the liquid. Ours is fully saturated. When you put it on the skin... It goes into the body within 90 seconds. It's extremely comfortable. And it just, and immediately you feel it, which is now the first thing is going to relax the muscles because there's not enough magnesium in the body to properly relax people's muscles. And so calcium contracts the muscles, magnesium relaxes the muscles. You need both functions. They're both very important. And everybody's way over calcified, as you mentioned earlier. Calcium deficiency is not the problem. It's magnesium deficiency 
and having calcium go to the right place in the body and not messing up the osteoblasts. So we saw immediate results with that with people because we sell direct to consumer. And so all this feedback loop made us realize how vitally important it is. So that, that's, that's the basics of that start of it. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. So when you started going down this pathway, you realized, and this is a very specific form that we can control the quality of, that we can um, get people into, we can get people to get magnesium into their system. When you started putting this out into the, the world, um, what, what did you initially, like, what were you aiming for? Was it people who were in a similar situation to you? Uh, you mentioned detox, like, who did you think was the initial audience here? I felt that every single person on earth, from young children to very elderly, require this because it is a fuel that is required by the body. So the things I first started to see was weird. Honestly, it was like, this is an experimental phase. I had a, because the the gentleman who told me about this to start with, who had the intel on it, he said, uh, do you have any pain in your body? I said, well, not really a lot, no. He says, well, if you have any aches or pains at all, just spray it on and it will help to relieve that. He didn't explain really why. And so the next morning, I just had a sample bottle. I put it on my elbow because my left elbow on the computer was a little bit sore. Not really bad, but a little bit. And so I sprayed it on. I put about seven or eight sprays on, just just wiped it in. And within about three minutes, the pain was gone. And so I thought it was a pain reliever, which I was mistaken. But that's what I thought. Next day, the pain's back the same amount. It didn't go away put it on again, went away within three minutes. It was gone for the whole day. And that went on for about seven weeks. And around the seven-week period, I got up and there was no pain left in my elbow. And so I phoned this guy and I told him what happened. He goes, oh, you thought that was a painkiller, right? I go, yeah. He says, no, that's not the function. Mechanics was you had an overcalcified elbow. The magnesium went through your skin, immediately excited the calcium that had built up pressure on on the nerve that was giving the alarm to the brain that there's something wrong. And he said it it would excite it, and then it would settle down because only a little bit of that magnesium could blend with the calcium that day, marry up, and then carry that calcium to where it needed to go into the bones. He said, now you've done it for seven weeks. You've got, there's no more, not not enough calcium to keep settling down and putting pressure on the nerve, but you've got to keep going. Don't stop because you want to do this for at least another seven or eight weeks because that will take you to stage zero magnesium deficiency. And he said, by the way, it's going from your elbow all the way through your bloodstream into your body once it gets into the bloodstream. So it's not only just helping your elbow, it's actually helping your own body. But what you've got to do now is put it on from your neck all the way down to the bottom of your feet and do that twice a day. And that will bring it up a lot faster. So I did that. And then we put it out into the market through a distributor in California called Sunfood. And I was down there visiting them a few months later, because we'd introduce it to them, and they go, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll sell that to our audience. And so we were private labeling it for them. And one of the women who was in customer service, she was 26 years old. She found out I was in the building. She'd never met me before. And she came over and said, I just got to give you a hug. I know I don't know you, so I don't normally do this, but I just got to give you a hug, and here's why. She said, I had a, a shoulder injury in my right shoulder when I was in high school, and it's been aching for years. And, and I heard that it helped with your elbow. So I've been spraying it on my shoulder and it took two and a half months and there's no more pain in my shoulder. I'm still spraying it. But she said, here's the weird thing. She said, ever since I was 14, when I started menstruating, I've had four days a month where I could not go. I just like in bed with a hot water bottle. She said, it's just been a nightmare. And she said the first month, it was still the same. Even after one month of spraying, she didn't even know it was going to relate to her menstrual cycle or her reproductive organs. She said, the second month was just half a month ago. That is all fixed. I didn't have a single problem with my, I didn't even, it didn't have one minute down, felt great. Mm-hmm. And it's the only thing that's ever done it. And she said, that was just by spraying my shoulder. And so I told her, I said, well, yeah, you got to start doing like neck down to the feet twice a day for 90 days, build it up. And so that we saw that over and over again with women with that alone. So what was that all about? That was a magnesium deficiency for their endocrine reproductive organs. And yeah, it was a phenomenon. So at that point, I was like, we got to get this to the world. From then on, it was just really other strange stuff. Stuff that we couldn't publish. 
for example, at a gentleman and his daughter who both had anxiety, depression. They were on meds to control that. His daughter, he was about 50. His daughter was around 24. And I, and he goes, you know, will this help? And I'd, I'd heard that it helped, but I'd never seen a live case of it. This is early on. And he said, well, what should we do? I said, well, I told him what to do, you know, spraying it twice a day. And he said, well, should I get off my meds? I said, absolutely not. Don't dare get off your meds. Uh, but But what I would suggest you do is see how much you need. Maybe taper off the amount you're taking. And both of them within 30 days had weaned themselves off their meds completely just by not needing it. And it was just all magnesium deficiency that was causing the anxiety and depression. So the, the ease didn't cure that. It simply gave the body the fuel it needed to just not have that happen, which was right. simply a deficiency problem. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. And I, you, you mentioned something um, in passing. You said that the body, correct me if I'm wrong, you said that the body is a walking ocean. Mm -hmm. Can you give me a little bit more of that background and in, in where you, because I, I, I say something similar, but I want to know more about, like, what does that mean to you, that we're a walking ocean? Well, I noticed that <clears throat> tears and, and, uh, and sweat are extremely salty, and that the, uh, the stomach acids in the, in the stomach are made of hydrochloric acid, which is chloric. And then I looked at the sea minerals, because our first product is Oceans Alive. That's our, that's our original hero product. And that is a highly concentrated sea mineral solution with marine phytoplankton stabilized in it. And I noticed that people's gut issues would go away because they're feeding the raw material for that. But if you go back into the First and Second World Wars when they would run out of blood in the blood bank for soldiers that, were, that needed blood transfusions, they would go to a, a pure part of the ocean as clean as they could get it, knock it down, put two-thirds of it distilled water and one-third seawater, and intravenously inject that into the veins of the, of the soldier, and within two to three weeks, they would have perfect blood again. They didn't have any blood to give them. They made their own blood with their bone marrow from giving that raw material to the body. And I was like, hold it. So now, what about the fluid in the body? They, they we're all told that the body's 80% water, but there's no water. It's electrolytic fluid. It's, it's, it's moisture, it's fluid, but it's electrolytes. And so the most compatible electrolytes in the world is purified sea minerals, but it has to be in liquid form because they had to have injected liquid IV. So you drink that same solution and it, and it changes the world. And if you're not salty enough, you've lost your salt, the salt loses its savor, it's discarded. And hydration is based upon having good quality electrolytic fluid. Not how much you drink, but the quality of the fluid in your body. So that, that's where it all tied in. It was like, of course, our magnesium has to come from seawater, not from some salt mine at the ocean or some salt mine on the earth, from actual living seawater. And then it has to be a super pure extract because otherwise it's all contaminated with all kinds of other elements that the ocean would have. And it's USP grade. So that's, that's the yeah. bottom line of that. And so then the, the form that we're talking about, magnesium chloride hexahydrate, am I saying that right? Yes. So, when, so I've tried all, all kinds of different forms of uh, magnesium, and we do rely on oral magnesium for most of our patients. Yes. Because I recognize that it's really important for bones, and we're trying to top people off as best we can. I've looked at topical before, but the feedback I got from my patients is, I don't like the way it feels, uh, you know, it's, it's greasy or, you know, like it, it just comes off on my clothes. It's messy. Yep. So you mentioned this is water-based. So can you kind of talk about how this is different than some of the other topical products that are available? Well, we, we bought and tested all of the other topical products because we're like, what are they doing? There's nonstop complaints about all those products. And all right. they do is they just take regular uh, magnesium chloride that's mined. They put it into water. I'm sure it's clean water. And they just melt it in and they don't do anything else to it. And they just put it in a spray bottle and tell you to spray it on. It goes in, like you say, greasy, it's prickly, it's uncomfortable, it can burn. You, yeah. you, got, if you, can, you have to rub it in. And you got to wash it off, which is totally gross. It does get in the clothes. It has a smell to it. It's gross. And with ours, because it's extremely pure in the right form, you can't even hardly tell us on your, well, you can't really tell us on your skin. You just, you just spray it on, or I spray, like where there's areas where you have to reach down, where you're not going to turn the spray bottle upside down. 
I just put it on mm-hmm. the on my hand, four or five sprays on my hand, wipe that on, and just do my whole body, especially the bottom of the feet, all the way up to the neck. Just stay away from sensitive areas. If your skin mm-hmm. is a little bit dry, it might tingle at the most. Most people get no tingling even. It is super comfortable. It is smooth. It is not g- gunky whatsoever. And it's gone in 90 seconds. So everybody's like, what's with that? And there's no, there's no odor. There's, there's no, you can't stain your clothing with it. You can put it on throughout the day if you feel like it in this area, if you have a little bit of a stress day. And it, and it puts you predominantly into parasympathetic. You know, sympathetic is very important, obviously. But your parasympathetic is even more important. And so it supports your body to flip into parasympathetic whenever you need to. And therefore have much deeper sleep, keeps your muscles relaxed, allows your whole entire joint system to get the calcium out by putting it back to where it's supposed to go, supports brain yeah. health, major organ functions, and it's just a different world entirely. Like, and the only way you can know that I'm telling you the truth, because everybody says, we have the best. No, no, it's up to right. you to decide what is the best. You're the voter, and you vote by using something and having the experience. So this is our highest rave review product in the company because it works yeah. so quickly and has so many benefits to it and is super affordable. Yeah, it really is affordable. And for those of you that are listening, there's going to be a, a link in the description on YouTube. Uh, so you can you check that out and we're going to have a, a discount for, uh, for, I think, for listeners as well. Uh, but it's already affordable, even at retail. So this is really, it's an impressive product for the value. Um, the next thing I wanted to get into is you mentioned that you can apply it locally um, and you may not know or have seen any research on this, but one of the questions we get from people is some people in the osteoporosis space, they have, it seems like they have osteoporosis, to say like the spine and not the hips, which I think is probably not true for most people that have this. Mm-hmm. It's probably a DEXA issue. But anyway, if someone really wants to focus on an area could a topical application actually make sense or should they focus on systemic application, get your whole body levels of magnesium out? Well, definitely systemic is the, is the base. That's your base factor. <clears throat> if a person's having restless legs or if they're having osteoporosis in the lower limbs or the spine, you definitely want to focus on that area because it's going to really go there first. Your body intelligence knows to draw a larger amount into that area rather than having to wait like, the, the young lady did spraying her shoulder, and then finally, you know, within two months, having her, you know, re, her uh, cycle fixed. You know, so it's uh, now if she would have sprayed it on her stomach, would it have been faster? I don't know because I didn't ever suggest that to her. I did tell her yeah. to do her whole body systemically, and yeah. so it. Uh, yeah, the matrix yeah. one. Um, we have a hormone. We have a hormone company as well. It could be an interesting product to recommend for people for women that are struggling with you know dysmenorrhea, PMDD symptoms. That'd be an interesting, interesting tool to consider. Um, so I, I know we've been talking twenty plus minutes on magnesium. I wanted to hit at least one other thing because our audience. We talk a lot about D three and K two, and mm-hmm. you know there's there's a lot of confusion I think around the vitamin K space. Um, you had mentioned before we started recording, you guys have a D3 K2 product. Do you mind walking me through that product and, you know, why, why the forms in that product are unique and impactful for people with osteoporosis? Yeah, well, uh, first of all, it's the only certified organic. Uh, we, call, we call it perfect K2D3, so we flipped it around instead of D3 first because <clears throat> I felt mm-hmm. that the K2 MK7 was even more important uh, mm-hmm. because a lot of people are getting some vitamin D in different areas. But... It was the exact ratio. And so the K2MK7, vitamin K, in that form, has to have a 72-hour half-life. So basically 24 hours, you're going to have the full strength. Take it every day. And it also has a trans factor, plus it's it's guaranteed pure certified organic. And the D3, we get our, our D3 from lichen. It's a cultured lichen that would normally form on rocks in the world, especially up here in the Canadian Shield. But, uh, it's, it's a super pure form that, again, is pure from contaminants. And then the combination of those two together in an MCT oil, so it's not a pill. Uh, I, I, I try to stay away from pills as much as I can. I'm not against them at all. I do use them for different things. But our products are primarily liquid, and there's no taste to it. You just squirt one dropper in your mouth every single day, 
And that's the dose that we've seen just give results after results from everything from yeah. women who stop losing their hair to, uh, you know, all the different knowledge around the science behind delivering the calcium into the proper place of the body where it has to go because it needs a delivery system and the D3 protecting the immune system or supporting the immune system rather by shielding the interstitial fluid between the cells and all the wonderful things that D3 does, getting the calcium out of the food, etc. But it is a, it's just this super pure form and really easy to use and it's enjoyable. So we, that's another super popular product that's coming on right now, very strong over the last four years. Yeah, and, and I think the awareness around K2 has really increased. There's a, a number of influencers out there talking about vitamin K. There, there was um, a product that I was exposed to recently, and they made some really interesting claims. Um, in the bone health space, there's we sort of debate, like the K2 is MK7 versus K2 is MK4. Right. So I'm curious in, in your development of this product, in the bone health space, there have been some, probably been some of the best studies on vitamin K on MK4. And they use these very large super physiologic doses, like I believe it was 50 milligrams, which is a massive dose. That's huge. Um, yeah, so yeah. they use these these massive doses, and it may have been 30, but either way, it's a lot because it was measured in milligrams. Um, and they use these massive doses of MK4, and they showed as a single intervention, there is improvement for bone health. So some of the companies will say, well, K2 is MK7 doesn't have as much research behind it, which is true. Right. But yet I recommend it, you're recommending it. So when you were doing your research, why MK7 versus MK4? Well, number one is uh, efficacy. <clears throat> you know, the return in your investment of your time, energy, effort, and money. And the MK7, when I saw that, the research on that that has been done more in Europe, and, it, and there's published information on it, you require much, much less. In fact, you wouldn't want to go over 350 micrograms. You don't need to, or 375. There's, it's in that range. You can't harm yourself, but you're wasting your money. It's so much more effective. You need such a smaller amount. And when we saw the results physically happen, which is all anecdotal, because we have done no clinical trials, trials ourselves at all, right? The right. clinical trials were done at the manufacturing of the raw material level. And there's so much good information on the MK7. I chose that over 100%. And the MK4, yes, definitely effective. But you do have to take quite a bit more. And then there's this cost factor that's involved. And so the, my goal was to have the least amount of time, energy, effort, and money required to get the maximum return. And that's where we chose the MK7. Yeah. No, I, I think it makes sense. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm recommending MK7 and I have been with other products in, in similar doses. Um, and I think you had said the, that your product has 150 micrograms of K2 as MK7. Yep, it's 150 micrograms yeah. and then uh, 1,000 I use of the D3. And that seemed to be the perfect ratio that worked the best. You know, and, and yeah, I, I really like those numbers, actually. Yeah. I think a lot of products got way too much cholecalciferol in it as the D3. Um, the other thing you mentioned before we we started recording is the form is is relatively unique with the k2 is mk7 and this is not true for all products on the market so can you talk about the the trans versus cis of, of the k2 is mk7 and how that relates to the dosing right <clears throat> so the well the, the trans factor to get 100 percent utilization of the actual vitamin itself to get it into the cells to get it functional is is the most important thing and that there were studies done on the trans factor. We made sure that it had that capacity. And then the the half the half life. Most of the K2 MK7s that we saw were around three hours half life. Obviously mm -hmm. there are some that have nothing in the pill. Okay, that there's just scam companies. I'm not talking about that. But I'm talking about legitimate companies that really have the substance in the in the material in that vitamin. Uh, it's around three hour half life. So you'd have to take it throughout the day to be able to get the benefit. So the 72-hour half-life was like crazy level ratio better. And so that's, that's the one we chose for that purpose. And it's just, you got to just get the usefulness. And it shows up. There's no way that we would have had the testimonials coming back if we would have just yeah. had the regular stuff. Because what we found is that psychologically, people hear a study on something and then they go try to find the cheapest one in the market. Because right. they're they're trying to save money, but it's it's right. counterproductive entirely. So ours is a little bit more money, 
but it's 10 times or maybe 100 times more effective. I don't know. I haven't measured how much more right. effective it is, but it's way more effective. Yeah, well, compared to a product that has nothing in it, it's <laughs> yeah. going to be a lot more effective, right? Yeah, yeah. and I, I struggle with that too because we you know, we have, we have a large audience on YouTube and even internationally. And so our international uh, audience, they really struggle because a lot of the stuff that's available here in the United States is not available internationally, uh, which I want to ask you about that. Uh, but additionally, of course, the, the gut reflex for most people in the U.S. is, well, I'm going to go on Amazon or Walmart or you know, go to Costco and I'm just going to pick it up there because I know it's going to be cheaper. And right. so I have spoken against this, uh, you know, op openly and publicly and tried to show the literature that shows that these things are not well stored. Sometimes these products are, uh, especially on Amazon, they're not real, you know, so mm -hmm. um, yeah, maybe you can speak to a couple of things here. So number one, I guess the question is, is if someone sees your products on Amazon, <laughs> do you guys sell it on Amazon? Uh, is that real? And two, are they available internationally? Yeah, so they're, they'll do the international first. So we have fulfillment centers in the UK, Australia, Canada, and the US only right now. Those are the four main areas. Okay. Uh, so those, those we cater to because otherwise shipping is just too much money. So we, we ship container loads into those countries to simply save the shipping cost to the person purchasing. Uh, the other part of it is uh, to you yourself buying a product. You're investing in yourself. Invest in the highest quality because it's always going to pay off. It's never a price situation. It's all about a return on your investment. And we have we used to have an account on Amazon. Uh, we no longer take care of that. We have a global company who makes sure that our products are available through all these different channels. And we're competing against products that are substandard to, like you said, not even real. And so we love that because they make they they create the contrast between us and them. So I don't discriminate anymore against platforms saying that you know because I get lots of amazing stuff on Amazon. And I don't like Amazon as a company <clears throat> because it's a whatever that monopoly thing is going on. But oh, yeah. I do I have received very high quality things from Amazon but you have to use your critical thinking, you do your research, you discern, you invest your money carefully in yourself. And our job is to return that investment to you tenfold. Yeah, no, that, that's great. And that's actually really helpful for our audience from an international perspective because we have large Canadian, UK, and Australia um, audiences. So that, that's really helpful. I'm glad you guys can share there. Um, I think we covered all the things that I wanted to get into. Um, maybe you could just speak a little bit more if you have anything else to add on the relationship of magnesium to calcium. So now that is a big, that's a big concern of most people. And you, you talked about how putting it on top of whey will help the calcium in specific areas go. But what about, you know, just like dietary calcium as on a day-to-day -day basis? How is magnesium involved in that process of getting calcium where it needs to go? Well, the typical diets don't have anywhere as close to the right, right amount of magnesium and also the right form of magnesium. So when you build up your bank account and your tissue, because everybody goes and does blood panels to see where their magnesium level's at. It's like, that is not going to tell you where you're at. You're not going to take a chunk of flesh out of your body. So the transdermal holds like a bank account. And so when you have calcium coming into your diet, your body intelligence can draw on your bank account and make sure that you got the marriage. It's a major marriage. They literally get married and hang out. And if there's not enough magnesium, the calcium builds up because it's got no partner. And that's where people yeah. get stiff muscles, brain fog, poor digestion, you know, so, sore joints, creaky, groany type bodies, muscle cramps when they're sleeping, and those kind of things. Now, the oral magnesiums, they're like, I, I really, we're working right now on a combination with uh, <clears throat> a magnesium malate that's chelated in com yeah. combination with a couple of other things that we've seen phenomenal results on already from the internal, and it doesn't tax the digestive tract because a lot of times these magnesiums will cause peristalsis or a flushing or a dumping or a loss of other minerals, which we don't want. So it's, uh, yeah, I think it's just, it's just that marriage thing that happens internally. And just think about your system, uh, Dr. Doug. You have five liters of blood in your entire body from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. You're going to pump every single speck of your blood, every cell in your body, every 60 seconds. You pump 7,200 liters of blood a day. 
So you want to you want to be able to have a bank account where it's going by. Oh, hey, is there magnesium in the tissue? I can grab some, instead of just waiting for it to come through the digestive tract only. So this is where this is where the play comes in on the transdermal side in a big way. Yeah, well, that's exciting. I really appreciate you bringing that to us. Um, I, I think that's all I have. Uh, any last comments for people? And I guess actually one thing I should say. Um, so the company, again, there's a link in the description on YouTube, but the company is Activation Products. If people are looking for the name of the company, the magnesium is Ease Magnesium. And the, uh, you said the Perfect K2, uh, Perfect K2 D3, is that right? That is correct, yes. Okay, perfect. All right, well, any, any last uh, words for the audience? Well, I think I would just encourage people to take more responsibility for yourself and and get build your enthusiasm, build your self-esteem. That'll give you strength and joy to carry on and get through all the, the challenges you've got in your life because everybody's challenged on multiple levels at all times. And this brings the strength and the joy in just to keep you know rising above all the noise and confusion. And these yeah. elements are must-haves to keep your body strong and happy. Yeah, beautiful. No, couldn't agree more. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ian. I appreciate you bringing this knowledge to the audience and we'll make sure that this information gets out and that people can check out these products and see how it works for them. Yeah, my pleasure. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that interview with Gail Clark. Yeah, I found it to be really um, eye-opening as far as the different forms of magnesium. And this may actually change the way that we treat our patients, considering more topical application. If we can find something uh, like the yeast magnesium that actually um, is tolerable. And again, that the previous topicals we used have not um, been well received. So this is really cool. I haven't used the products yet, but I'm excited to try them. Um, and uh, once we do, we'll give you some feedback. Um, maybe we'll do another video on this topic. So if you are struggling to put together your own bone health program and you have not gone to our masterclass yet, please sign up for our free masterclass. We run this every couple of weeks. You get to watch how we put together a uh, bone health program. We talk about the top three um, uh, mistakes uh, that people make by putting their bone health program together and they talk about the top three myths. And so we kind of go through these things, lots of content in there and time for a, an open Q&A. Um, so if you haven't done that, that is a, definitely a great next stop because again, it's free. There's a ton of value in there for you. So sign up for that in the link in the description below on YouTube. And if you're listening to this on a podcast, uh, you can just go to optimalhumanhealth.com and you can find the link for the masterclass there.